Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for swinging by and checking out what this old man's talking about today. Guys, when I seen this can with the skull and the hop, and I mean it is just the graphics on this is unbelievable. It's got skulls all over it. I mean, I would have bought this beer if if it no matter what style, just the artwork on the can I would have bought. And I don't save any of these things, guys. Uh but that caught my attention and I looked at it and it's a eight and a half percent and it's a double IPA and probably a New England style on top of that and with all the skulls on it I'm going that's mine that's mine so uh, let's find out what Mason L Works has got going on here uh, I mean the, the, the color on this thing I mean it's just it catches your your eye immediately as soon as I seen it I mean well, I, I probably would, would probably wish I probably would have bought more than one, but I spent enough money buying what I bought. Uh, Citra, HBC 586, and El Dorado hops. Uh, HB, HBC 586 experimental hop. Uh, Crowns, hammers, and zombies. What a name! That's a. Uh, and you got the guy sitting in the chair and he's got like Thor's hammer in his hand uh, and that's you know the sign of Mason L works there the hammer so uh, very very nice uh, I'm, in, I'm impressed with this particular can and the artwork that's on it eight and a half percent 16 ounces no date though guys but I'm, I'm pretty sure everything that I bought uh, this time is fresh is fresh so uh, and he's Martin turns over some beers there. I mean, especially the good ones. Uh, everybody knows, and they run and they snatch it up, guys. So, uh, big turnover of beers, and he gets some. I mean, he he does a good job. I will give him two thumbs up for what he does over there. So, uh, let's see, uh, Citra. We got through that. The uh, Robert blend of hops create a symphony of citrus, tropical fruit, and pine aromas. That's the commercial description there, guys. So, without any other talking, let's start pouring. I don't have a very good grasp on that glass. I do not want to drop it. Let me get my hands underneath the bottom of it there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's a little on the darker side pouring it, so it's got a deep, deep rich amber color, it looks like, coming out. And it's fairly decently carbonated, too, on top of that. So, we got two plus fingers of head on that poor guy. And it's a very dirty orange juice color there. I mean, very cloudy, very hazy. Super cloudy. I mean, that is very, very cloudy. That is almost milkshake cloudy. But, uh, yeah. Decently carbonated. That's a good looking beer, guys. I mean, uh, meets the criteria for this old guy's New England style uh, in appearance, anyway. Mm -hmm. To the nose we go. Citra, Citra, Citra C. So, anytime you see Citra hops, Citra is short for Citra C. HBC 586, that rings a bell. I've had that hop before. And El Dorado, of course. I mean, very popular hop. Grapefruit, pineapple, pine. A lot of typical uh, aromas there. It's got a nice sweetness to it. We don't have any IBUs, but it's 8.5%. I'm not getting any booze on the nose. 
very pleasant aroma, stone fruit. It smells nice. Let's dive in. Cheers. And you can see the lacing, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's already, you know, down probably a three quarters of an inch lower than it was when I poured. So, uh, very nice, very nice lacing on this beer. A little spicy too, like a southern hemisphere hop. Maybe the HBC has some of the southern hemisphere characteristics. Double dry hop, hazy double IPA. So, collaboration with Beer Zombies Brewing, Mason L. Works. We got a lot of heads and hands on this batch. In the collaboration beers, a lot of times they're very interesting because you got a lot of different ideas and, and brewers and and things going on there when there's a lot of chiefs in the kitchen, a lot of cooks in the kitchen. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So that's pretty good though. That's that, that's tasty. The artwork sold me. Ah, yes, I say it did. All right, swirly swirl, a double swirly swirl. This is a, a new release, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm confident of it because of the ratings, how many ratings has been done. So, hmm. I felt like there was more in there than that, but it's all turned to foam with that massive swirly swirl just to get everything out. But. I probably shouldn't have done that as carbonated as it was originally and they're really just recarbonated up by doing that heavy swirly swirl but I wanted to get it all out here's what it is now y'all seen that side with him sitting in the chair and y'all seen this I'm gonna turn it around on this side where y'all can see that that's awesome awesome artwork I really like it very nice nicely carbonated I can deal with that I mean it's almost like yogurt on the top up there guys I mean it's super creamy very nicely done a great collaboration beer from these guys and uh, on this particular one guys I've got my little ticket here we'll take a quick look I usually do this when I come back but while I'm thinking about it here it is Crown's Hammer uh, this beer was seven oh nine seven dollars and nine cents so that's eight and a half percent so that's really not that bad but again you got to realize uh, if you're going to a bar you're going to pay these prices for beers guys i mean it's just but you're paying for the atmosphere you're paying the rent on the building you're paying the the waitresses and the bartenders and you, and everything comes into effect uh, uh, the spot you're sitting at the table at, at the bar uh, I mean it's all it's real estate you're paying for that but when you're buying something at a beer store and taking it home paying the same price for it to take home uh, sometimes it leaves a leaves a little dry spot in my mouth there because I'm not paying for that atmosphere and all of that so uh, but again when you go to places like Treehouse and 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 their beers are 20 to 30 dollars for a four pack I mean you're paying for that premium world-class experience hopefully and sometimes it is and sometimes it's not so you have to make that decision whether it's worth if you're paying five dollars for a beer or ten dollars for a beer so that is your decision to make based on what your palate's telling you and your wallet's telling you so guys with that being said we're gonna run and sip on it I'll be right back all right guys i'm back got a little left nice slicing again very nice very tasty beer guys i mean citrusy pineapple grapefruit little bit of spicy notes in there super tasty I enjoyed this find a show
a lot of quality made beers nowadays, guys. Boy, it's a lot different than it was 10 years ago, 12 years ago. By the hit and misses back then, most of them nowadays are more hits than misses. So, uh, everybody has stepped up their game. I mean, if you don't, you're not going to stay in business. There's just too many great breweries out there now. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many breweries that are producing these super tasty beers as opposed to what I was getting and drinking and that having so many beers that weren't that good of course they weren't that expensive back then as they are now I wasn't paying seven eight nine ten dollars for for a single beer back then uh, unless it was some kind of monster beer uh, but the quality of the beers has gone up but the price has gone up along with that so not not so many misses anymore but you pay for that quality now so with that being said guys I think it's a 90 that's where I'm gonna put it uh, over to Beer Advocate they have a no score not enough and they're all out of whack on this one they have it listed but it's, it's got two ratings and they are from 2022 and 2021. What? The beer wasn't in existence. 10.5% ABB. No, this is only 8.5%. So, uh, they're smoking on some good shit over there on this one. Over, over to Untap, they have it at correct. 8.5%. Uh, it's got the right picture, got the right everything. Uh, Mason L works in a collaboration with it. So, and they have it at 4.02 into their A minus category along with me. I agree. So, with that being said, guys, if you had crowns, hammers, and zombies 2023, let me know what you think, guys. Tell me again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.